What's up friends, Liron here coming at you from Paris. I'm um, sorry about the audio quality, I forgot to bring my mic, uh, so hopefully you can hear me uh, well. Uh, in today's video I want to talk about productivity. As I said, I want to start covering topics that don't necessarily relate directly to art. So if this really doesn't interest you, you can skip ahead, uh, watch another video. Actually, there will be a lot of pure uh, art and drawing and painting videos coming up really soon, so don't worry about that. But today I want to take uh, this opportunity that I'm not in my regular uh, studio office and to talk a bit about uh, productivity. So uh, let's get inside and get to it. Okay, so we are inside, it's nice and warm, and let's get to it. I want to talk, as I said uh, in this video, about productivity, and uh, this has a huge importance for artists of any kind, whether it be musicians, writers, um, anything like that, because I think one main uh, core part of being an artist and being basically a, a creator is to create a lot. And from my experience, the more I can create, the better I become and the better the results I see are. So I'll share uh, mainly two uh, advice that from my experience really helped me. Uh, the first one, and I think this is really the basis for it all, is getting up early. <laughs> and it's something that uh, is really hard to maintain sometimes, uh, especially if your uh, routine changes, if you move around a lot. Uh, but if you live in the same place, if you don't travel all the time, uh, you can build a really successful routine that includes waking up in the morning. And even if you're uh, traveling and doing all of that, you can still do it. Um, I personally uh, still try to figure out um, how to do it exactly. But basically, uh, building a strong routine when you, where you wake up really early in the morning, I think is one of the most beneficial things because uh, the earlier you, you rise, basically, it, it just gives you a slight advantage over the rest of the world and you can really feel it uh, at times where I really wake up um, early uh, around 6 or 5 sometimes <laughs> I would go to uh, more extreme ends and at times like that I really feel like you know the entire world is still asleep and I'm out there doing uh, my thing honing my craft whether it be uh, practicing painting or editing a video for you or uh, working on a book and this really helped me maintaining this routine uh, of rising early and starting to work um, as soon as you get up maybe after a small um, sort of you know brushing your teeth eating something uh, so this is the first advice I know it's really basic but uh, how many of you are doing it I'm not sure you know I'm I'm still not doing it as much as I want to I usually wake up around um, seven but uh, now when I'm here uh, on vacation so it's still uh, a challenge to maintain a routine like that um, so anyway I'm rambling let's move on to the next advice uh, which is uh, consolidating similar tasks so this is something that uh, I talked a lot about in the past not here on uh, this channel but in uh, my old blog and uh, stuff like that so what I would do it, and it really helped me when working on uh, my books. Uh, if any of you uh, know, some of you may know, I have a few uh, books on Amazon that I self-published. Um, no publishing house, nothing, just me. And the thing that really helped me uh, the most in making it happen and in uh, actually uh, being very productive, I remember I finished uh, each one in like two months maybe, um, it includes all the writing process and the, the thought process and planning and uh, drawing and all of that. The thing that really helped me is to consolidate all similar tasks. So uh, when I would do the writing part, which I feel like is very strong, by the way, I'm not sure how many of you read uh, my books, but uh, I feel like my strongest trait is actually in writing. It's still not even the video medium, but more uh, writing medium. And uh, if if any of you have read, you may be able to tell I'm much more... I think I'm better uh, at communicating through uh, the written word. Um, but anyway, I'm working on it. Uh, so the one thing that really helped me is to actually write the whole thing. Um, going on so many tangents in this video. I hope you can still follow. So I would write the whole thing down, uh, everything. And then I would finish the writing process. I would just draw the whole thing out. And when I finished drawing, I would edit all the photos, uh, all the pictures, all the scans, anything uh, in Photoshop. So I would consolidate the similar tasks. And it's something that really helps me. And I, I really challenge you to look at whatever it is you do, whether it be uh, art as the main uh, primary occupation or anything else, 
and think about the tasks that you have to do that are sort of repetitive and try to consolidate similar ones. Um, if you have to sell a lot on the phone, then you know stacking up phone calls one after the other is a really good idea. Uh, if you're uh, writing and then you have to do some editing and stuff like that, maybe it would be beneficial to just write the whole thing, you know, really spit it out there and then just try and, and work with it and change it. So um, whatever it is you do, music, I think is a strong one. Uh, if you can, uh, I'm really not familiar with the process of uh, making music, but I'm sure there's like the uh, thinking phase and the recording and the editing and stuff like that. Um, so I really challenge you to think about uh, the thing you're doing and how you can consolidate all the similar stuff and it really takes a bit of creativity but it really works so for example and when I worked on uh, how to sketch with which is I think my most successful book uh, currently what I would do is I would just write the whole thing down without drawing anything and I would just uh, put in a small notes to myself that say um, uh, insert picture of blah 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 here insert picture of blah 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 there and I would just continue writing and mentally I would uh, have these notes that remind me of the examples that I want to give and then I would go back and, and I would mark them in yellow and then I would go back and I'd actually look at all those small pieces of, um, of uh, marked content and I'd know and I'd make a list of all the drawings I need to do and I would go back to that part that I wrote to get some context and then I would just work on all of them uh, together uh, sorry the tripod is a little less stable uh, than my uh, home one so um, and that's it I would just do everything together do the writing then do the drawing and then edit everything in Photoshop and then put it all uh, into the book and do all the after editing the packaging making it into an, a digital book a printed uh, a, a version that's ready for print and that's it so if you're if you find yourself uh, struggling with how much you produce or your productivity or if you feel like uh, you can do better um, these two advice, I really urge you to try them out. So the first one is to wake up early. Early is around six or five. I know five is a big challenge, especially in winter. Oh, it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, and the second one is to consolidate similar tasks. This is a big one. It really helped me with anything uh, I did so far. Um, and on that note, I uh, wanna, I never really mentioned it so far on the channel, but I actually uh, finished because it just happened now. I finished working on my uh, how to draw course for beginners. So I know a lot of you ask me about um, sort of the basics and things like this because I do most, mostly watercolor now. So if you want to see um, content that's related to the uh, basics of drawing and it doesn't matter which uh, medium you want to use, uh, pen or pencil, whatever. So I have a complete course on that. It's, uh, it costs money. Uh, it's $24 um, and it comes with many cool bonuses and I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, and I think you'll really like it. So I recommend you check it out. And the way I did it was also with the same process of first uh, planning out all the lessons, then recording all the lessons, then editing, then the audio, then stuff like that. Really um, just to consolidate all the similar tasks. And I felt like I was super productive with it and I got it done really fast and also really uh, I think quality and I was able to really focus hard on each task that I'm doing. Um, so anyway this is it. I'm rambling a bit <laughs> so I hope uh, you could uh, hang on and watch the entire video. Uh, if not it's okay. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, if it helped you, uh, how you can apply it to your work and also if you enjoy seeing these these kinds of videos uh, i will definitely uh, do a few more that are pure uh, art painting it's just the most uh, beautiful and um, and uh, inspirational city in the world so uh, it's, <laughs> it's a good place to do that as well i also bought some new equipment that i hopefully will share uh, here or on snapchat or on instagram so i hope to see you there as well i'll add the usernames here thanks again for watching i'll see you in another video really soon